Hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will teach you guys how to compress images to web images or JPG, reducing the image size while retaining the image quality. This will help to increase your website loading speed. Please if you find this tutorial helpful and informative, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Let's start by creating a new Laravel project from our terminal. After creating the project, we will install Laravel UI for the front-end scaffolding. Next is to scaffold the front-end assets using View and Bootstrap. After scaffolding the front-end assets, we will run the npm install to install the front-end dependencies. The dependencies have been installed. Let's start our server. Next is to run the development script. Let's open the browser to see what we got. Next. We are going to open the project with our code editor. Let's set up the form, which the users will use to compress images. We will be using the welcome blade for it. Let's copy the login HTML markup to the welcome blade. We will modify the form which was included in the HTML markup we copied from the login blade, to have the image format select box field, then the image upload field. We will need these two fields to compress the images to the user selected format. After modifying the fields, let's check our browser to see what we got. Ok, this is what we need. Lastly, Add an int type HTML form attribute specifying how the browser will encode the data before sending it to the server. Next, we are going to create a controller we will use to process the image compression. Let's open the controller we just created. Before we continue, Let's install the intervention image package that will handle the image compressing for us. After installing the package, let's return to the controller we created to write the code that will compress the image. First, we will validate the user inputs. Next, we will define the name of the image, specifying the path to save it.
Before we continue, let's create the folder we want to save the compressed images inside the public folder. Next, call the image class with the make method from the intervention image package. Lastly, use the save method to specify how and where to save the image. From the documentation, the save method accepts three parameters, first, is the path and the name of image, second is the image quality, lastly the format of the image. But we're going to use only the first two parameters. But we will focus on the second parameter, which is the image quality. The higher the number, the higher the size of the image. Although, reducing the number won't drastically reduce the quality. Remember to import the intervention image class and string helper function we used inside the controller method. Next, let's add the route the user will submit the form. After adding it, don't forget to specify the route in the form action attribute. Let's test it in the browser to see how it works. The form has been submitted, and the image has been compressed and saved. Let's open the image and see the new size of the image. As you can see, the image size was reduced from 2.6 megabytes to 1.2 megabytes. Let's display the success message from the controller so that we will know when the image has been compressed. Let's try compressing the image using WebP format. For WebP compression, the image was reduced to 1 megabyte. That's why WebP image formats are recommended for website images. As you can see, after the compression, the image quality didn't change that much. Let's try another image with a higher resolution and size. After the compression, the image was reduced from 4.1 megabytes to 2.1 megabytes. But we can still reduce the size by reducing the quality number inside the intervention image save method. After reducing the quality to 40, the image was compressed from 4.1 megabytes to 1.7 megabytes, retaining the image quality. Let's try compressing with WebP. After the compression, the image size was reduced from 4.1 megabytes to 1.1 megabytes. Let's provide a link for the user to download the image after compressing the image. Now the user can download their image after compressing it. Let's reduce the quality to 20 and see what we will get after compression.
After the image compression using WebP format, the image size was drastically reduced from 2.6 megabytes to 138 kilobytes, while retaining the image quality. That is amazing. Here comes the end of this tutorial. Please, if you find this tutorial helpful and informative, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also turn on the bell icon to get notifications anytime I drop a new video. Thanks for watching.